Hello everyone, welcome to GoVM Lab. In this series of lectures, we are going to discuss upon VMware scenario based interview questions, helping our learners to prepare for VMware L1, L2, L3, and senior level profile preparation. So, we have discussed in our previous lecture about very first introductory scenario about virtual machine snapshot. So, now let's continue our discussion further about snapshot scenarios and let's try to solve some of the snapshot specific scenarios from the interview perspective. So now let's move on to our question number two and here goes our question number two. So if you really see that the diagram it looks similar to our very first question what we have discussed in our previous lecture. So now if I just try to explain this diagram once again if you do see that we do have a VM where user has taken a, a base snapshot and a user have written data value as A on the base snapshot. Then user has taken a new snapshot named as child snap one and the data value has been written as B. Then what user has done, it has taken another new snapshot named as child snap two and the data value written as C. So if you really look at from the snapshot tree perspective, it is exactly the same scenario what we have discussed in our previous lecture in the question number one. And that's where our user is here. So you as a user currently in this particular state. So now that's what pretty much about this particular scenario, a very simplified scenario. Now let's try to understand the question here that what is the question which has been asked in this particular given scenario. Now this particular given scenario is about what should be the final output written to the base disk after delete snapshot operation performed by user on a child snap 2. So if you remember in the previous scenario we discussed about delete all operation when user is performing delete all operation. So we know that when your user is performing delete all operation what will happen? all the delta changes will be written to the base disk and after successful uh, written to the base disk your uh, snapshot in the chain will be deleted. That's what pretty much we have discussed in our previous question. Now in this particular question if you really see that the diagram still looks similar. The diagram still looks similar but the operation performed by user has got changed here. Now in this particular given scenario user is performing delete snapshot operation and it is just trying to delete the child snap too. So if you really see that what user is trying to do the user current state is somewhere here. So that is the current state of the user from this current state user go to snapshot UI click on delete and it actually go and delete this particular snapshot which is named as snap 2 and having a data value written as C. So now let me ask you uh, this question before I actually go and try to answer this particular scenario. So what do you guys think when user actually go and perform delete operation from its current state on the child snap to having a data value C. So the point here is that what is going to happen with this data value C. Are we going to lose this data value C because we are performing delete snapshot operation or are we going to retain this data value C. That is the first question we should be answering when solving this scenario that what is going to happen with this data value C. Are we going to lose it or this data is going to persist. Now if, the, if we are going to lose it then it's fine but if we are persisting this particular data then what disk this data is going to return because ultimately we have trigger delete operation. So one thing is very much sure that this snapshot is going to get deleted from this entire snapshot chain tree. So one thing is very much sure that this snapshot is going to get deleted but the point what we really need to understand is that what is going to happen the data what user has written on that particular snapshot disk. So let me answer this particular uh, question for all of you guys. So what will happen when user actually go and delete this particular snapshot in the given snapshot tree where its current state is actually derived from all these three state. So in this particular scenario this data will be written to its parent disk. 
so we know that the snapshot is going to get deleted that's fine but we cannot afford losing this particular data because the current state of this particular user is actually derived from all these three states and if you really understand how snapshot chaining process works how snapshot parent cid get related with the child cid then you will you really know that snapshot is all about entire chaining process where your child disk will always be uh, uh, deriving a data from its parent disk so in the given scenario because the current state is completely dependent from this particular state as well so this data will be merged or written to the child snap 1 once the data has been written successfully on the child snap 1 disk then this snapshot will be deleted so if i just try to simplify this particular uh, a query or scenario for all of you so what is going to happen as when user actually go and perform delete operation from its current state so that is the current state of the user and from this state if user actually go and delete this particular snapshot this data will be written to the parent disk so what is the parent disk of child snap 2 the child snap 2 parent disk is going to be child snap 1 and that's where the data is going to be written b plus c so your child snap 1 will be having b plus c written to his delta disk and once this data has been written successfully then this snapshot will be deleted and your current state will come up here so if i just try to draw this final diagram how it's going to happen so it's going to be something like that where you will be having a base snapshot as mentioned here this best this base snapshot is having a value as a then you have derived uh, another snapshot which is actually uh, named as child snap one and now this child snap one not only will be having its own data but it will also be having a new data which is coming from the the child snap two which user has triggered delete operation and then your current state is going to be here so that is going to be a final output of a given scenario when user go and perform delete operation on the snap 2 so always remember whenever you are actually deleting this particular snapshot in a snapshot chain tree then always and always its data has to merge to its parent disk before performing delete operation for that snapshot so now this conclude our uh, second scenario about snapshot where we have discussed that what happens when user actually perform delete operation on a specific given snapshot and always remember that snapshot is a chaining process where all these parent child relationship matters a lot when building up the data or writing this data to the base disk and in a given scenario because we are deleting a specific snapshot so first its data has to be merged to its parent disk before deleting or discarding that snapshot so now this conclude our second scenario on the vmware interview questionnaire series stay tuned for our next lecture where we are going to uh, discuss about third variation of a given scenario and we'll see that what happens when user actually perform delete operation if you have interest in learning vmware more in depth not from an administration perspective but from the architect or consulting perspective then join our vmware vsphere zero to hero data center expert program this particular program has been highly rated by all of our learners 100 plus careers have been transitioned successfully with our zero to hero data center expert deep dive program with the 100 percent placement record now what are the key highlights of this program as you could see that it's india's first job ready vmware learning program which has a 70 hours of intense learning with the 80 plus hands-on labs 40 plus scenarios would be presented to a learner as a challenge questions to assess their learning we do have a mentors having a 15 years of experience and the certified professionals you would be getting opportunity to have a one-on-one -on -one in person doubt clarification session with the vmware mentor and this particular zero to hero program will also preparing learners for l3 or senior level profiles now we have transitioned many careers with our deep dive program and you can see some of the feedbacks right here on your screen these are the feedbacks what we have received from all of our successful learners who has transitioned their career with us so what are you waiting for 
if you want to become VMware expert or want to master this technology, then call us now today on the given number or maybe drop us email on the provided email address. Thank you.